Hey guys, so today we're going to be changing the drive shaft coupling and the centre drive shaft bearing in this VE Commodore. Uh, the process is the same for both the V8s and the V6s. Um, I, got, I got this kit here online, so that's the drive coupling. It comes with a new hardware and that's the coupling itself. And it comes with a sheet of instructions as well. Later. <laughs> and that's, that's the part number there. And then this here is the center bearing. Um, that's worn out in the car too. I'll just play you a video of uh, what it sounds like after I've shown you the parts. And that's, the, that's the center bearing with a new dust cover bearing there and also comes with a new o-ring and retainer here's the o-ring new o-ring and uh, there's a new circlet for it too so here we're just gonna go for a drive and uh, see what it sounds like um, you hear the vibration when I hit speed To get started, just get your car up in the air. Obviously, this will be easier with a hoist, but I haven't got one. Uh, sit it on jack stands. Uh, you want to be able to have the rear wheels off the ground, preferably both of them, so you can spin the tail shaft when you're doing this process. And um, I'll just go under the car and we'll get started. All right, guys. So I'm going to start off by removing these two, and then I'm plugging the OT sensor on, on both sides. So it's a 15 mil for these nuts here. Now we'll move on to the other side. Okay, now we've got to remove the O2 sensor. So, as you can see, there's a plug there. There's a plug there. All you need to do is push down on this tab and then pull, and then it separates. So you just push down on this tab here and then pull it out of the other plug. And separate. Now you need to do that on both sides. So you need to do the same thing on that side. So it's the same on this side. Push on the tab. There you go. It's outside undone. Now with the same 15 mil. We need to undo this middle brace. Uh, there's two bolts on this side, one, two, and two bolts on the other side, one, two. And that'll, that will get rid of this plate, and then we're going to make up, work our way backwards to the back of the exhaust. So we'll get to removing these two, which is a 15 mil as well. Alright guys, now we're at the back of the car, so you need to unbolt the mufflers from there and there, and on the other side, same thing, from there and there. So, 
Let's get to doing that, shall we? Let's do 15. Alright guys, as you can see here, I got the bolts, bolts out of the mufflers out. Uh, so now we're going to uh, pull the exhaust off. Um, you just got to pull it out of these hangers. Um, and the front hangers as well. So uh, we'll go start the front hangers and then we'll... Actually, we might be able to pull the back hangers off. Just like that. That's the exhaust pulled out. I just pulled it out of the back hangers first and then I just yanked it out from the front hangers and uh, off it came. So now we're gonna get to um, removing that heat shield in the middle to uh, give us access to the center bearing so we're gonna undo it from the chassis and undo it from the transmission yoke and from the differential yoke here. So let's get back underneath the car, pull this exhaust out and get started on that. Alright guys, so we're back under the car again. Uh, we're going to remove this heat shield to give us uh, more access to the, to the drive shaft that's below it. So you need either a Phillips head or 10 mil to get these nuts off. There's two of them, one on each, each side and this heat shield should just fall out. So, um, I'll undo those now. That's one side of the heat shield. That's the other side. That's that heat shield done. Just get it away. Now we've got access to our drive shaft. As you can see, that bushing is fucked. That bushing is stuffed. That's what's making all that noise when you're driving. And it's also stuffed. The one on the rear here, it's all torn. As you can tell there from from it vibrating. Yeah, that's just, so um we'll get that down and have a and take a closer look at it, shall we? So to get it down need to uh, undo first of all you need to mark it so that you can put it back in the same spot you took it off um, so I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna scratch it up and I yeah put some marks on it so I know which way it came off so to um, unscrew it you just need to do undo these bolts here that won't do the front. Uh, you will need to um, release the handbrake and put it in neutral so that you can spin it to get the ones on the other side. Um, that, that, that goes for both front and back as well. So I'll start doing that and um, yeah, see how we go. But yeah, that pushing is, is stuffed. As you probably heard in the video at the start, all that noise is coming from this. Okay. So to get it down, I need to uh, undo First of all, you need to mark it so that you can put it back in the same spot you took it off. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm just going to, I'm just going to scratch it up and I, yeah, put some marks on it so I know which way it came off. So anyway, um, unscrew it. 
we just need to do undo these bolts here that will undo the front uh, you will need to um, release the handbrake and put it in neutral so that you can spin it to get the ones on the other side uh, that, that, that goes for both front and back as well so I'll start doing that and um, yeah, see how we go but yeah that bushing is, is stuffed as you probably heard in the video at the start all that noise is coming from this The Crossman bar has two 15, oh, four 15 mil bolts holding it in. Uh, just got to make sure that jack's on it, supporting it, so it doesn't fall out. Um, so I'll get to you on doing those two 15 mils, and I'll um, we'll continue. Now I need to undo uh, the two, these two here that are holding uh, these two nuts that are holding the transmission mount in and that end mill. Let's see how we go. There's a cross member. Go to the side. So it's an 18 mil socket and a three quarter inch uh, spanner. Now we need to go inside the car and put it in neutral and so we can rotate it so we can get to the other side. Now we can rotate it as you can see there. Now you need to put, put it back in gear so you can undo those nuts. So grab your 18 mils again. I'm on the last one. And that will undo it. We move to the back and do the same thing to the diff right here. But with the diff, we're taking off the bushing as well because this bushing is stuffed. Uh, as you can see that, the bushing is all mangled and obviously from the shaft just, yeah, mangled. So we'll get to that, it's the same process, I'm not going to film that, it's just exactly the same process. Uh, you just undo the, put your 18mm spanner on the back and your socket on the front. Um, and uh, I'll come back to you when I'm doing the centre bearing. Alright guys, as you can see. I've gotten all the bolts out of the from the diff there. Uh, now it's loose. All I need to do now is unbolt it here from the from the center, from the center bearing here, with the one that's that's the one we're replacing. So there's two there's two 13 mil here, and the drive shaft might fall out so don't lay underneath it or stand underneath it. So I'm just going to get out of the way and uh, buzz those off. Oh 
we go. So now I've got this draft shaft free. So you've got to pull it up from the front first because it sits in that. Sits in there. Little nub sticking out. And then you can pull it out from the back because it also sits on the little nub that's on the, on the back there. So we'll pull it out and have a look at it on the bench, shall we? Alright, guys. Alright, guys. So we've got um, the draft shaft on the bench here. You can see. That's the end that goes through the transmission. Um, that's our center bearing. Look at it. Look at it. So that's the center bearing. Like it's fully separated from the bearing. It's a bearing there. Um, this is the end that goes to the diff. You can see that the coupling is completely gone. All torn up and cracked. So we're replacing that one with a new one. So, um, that out of the way. So here we need we need to uh, separate the two shafts and uh, two shafts and move remove this uh, bearing so we can put a, put a new one on. It's fully attached. So to do that we need to cut this tie off and, um, and just separate the two halves. So I got to doing that now. So we're going to start off by cutting off this tie. Then moving the boot off. And then all you need to do is give it a good yank and it'll separate. Just like that. That's the front half of the shaft. I'll put that there. So there's an o-ring on the front here that we've got to replace. There's a new one in the kit. That's an o-ring there. This one's all mashed up. Now you can remove this boot as well. to the side and you can remove the dust shield remove this dutch dust shield we got a new one of those as well and then on the inside On the inside, there, I'll get a light for So on the inside there, you've got a, um, a circlip you've got to remove, uh, so that you can slide that bearing off. So I'm just going to get my pliers out, and um, I'll pry those off. There you go. And then you need to separate them again to get them past the spines. Now there's a new one of those, so we won't reuse that one. Now we just need to tap this bearing off. So to get this bearing off, I'm going to use a bearing puller, or bearing separator, whatever you want to call it. So I'll do these nuts. There you go. Let's pull him off. There's our old bearing.
Now I'm going to put some new, some grease on there for the new bearing, and I'm going to we're going to bash a new new uh, bearing on there. Got some grease here, and just some regular open grease. Put them on the end of there. in. Now the new bearing goes this way so that side faces the front of the car and the front side faces the rear of the car. So we'll just put them on. And I'll just um, get a pipe to beat them onto the thing loop. So I've got a pipe here. It's going to slide over. And just hit him. Okay, I'll put the dash, the old dash shield. So grab the, grab the old dash shield, put him on there, and hit on that. There, there's the old one. That's the old bearing assembly there. Separated. So now we need to put that circlet back in there, the new one. So we'll put a new circlet in the box. Circlet no ring. So I put the circlet back in first. Using my circlet pliers. I'm gonna get my five blade screwdriver and my hammer and uh, just make sure we're seated in this groove. You should hear him click. Just get him on all, all the sides, just to make sure. No good. Now just give that shaft a bit of a wipe. And then put some grease on him as well. Yeah, just give that shaft a bit of a grease all the way around. And then I'm going to put the new dust cover on. There it is. Here it is. So with a new dust cover, put them in there, and use that pipe to seat them in. Alright, then it's good. Now we've made a mess of our shaft again. Made a mess of the shaft. Let's just regrease him. Okay, now I need to put the new O-ring on there. Just like that. Um, now the boot is back on. Now the larger, the larger end of the boot um, goes towards the front of the car and the smaller end goes to the bearing. So we just push him on there. 
Be careful with that O-ring. And so we'll take that O-ring off. Put the boot on. back on and then we'll slide this guy back in now I'm putting him back in because I've put a mark there and a mark there so I remember which way it goes just readjust my vice Push, push him on. And I'm just going to put a thick zip tie on there just to hold that boot on. Nice and tight. Okay. That's good. And now we're going to flip it over and replace and work on the other side. Now we're going to replace this bushing here. So we need an 18mm spanner and an 18mm socket to get it undone. So there's our old coupling, as you can see it's got cracks all through it, it's fully mangled, I'm surprised it was still holding on. So there's, here's our new one. Here's our new one, still in the bag. You can see this one's solid. Both sides. Now it doesn't matter which way it goes, because both sides are the same. You can see there. Now this one came with new bolts. So we're going to be using those. Here's a new bolt for it. I'm going to be using these. Alright. That's what the instructions say. So they've got marks on them. To tell you which way the bolt is meant to go. So as you can see those little loads there. There's one there. That's what the instructions say there. I will um, post a copy of this in the description below just so you can have a look at it so it basically just told you that what those arrows mean so just told you which way the bolts go so without further ado let's uh, open up a new hardware which is installing this is the draft shaft. So 
So these go here. And the arrow is pointing that way, so this arrow is pointing that way, so this bolt needs to go this way, which is the way it came out. Tighten them all at once. Alright guys, alright guys, so that's that unit fully assembled, the new bushing on the back, the new centre bearing on the middle, I'm going to stop those vibrations, so now we're going to go back under the car and uh, we're going to reinstall this draft off. Alright guys, now that we're under the car again with the freshly installed centre bearing and rear coupler, um, we're going to start off by putting the rear coupler onto the rear diff and then we're going to hold it up while we'll put up the front there into the little dowel that sticks out of the transmission uh, and then we're going to do up the middle, the centre bearing and then we're going to drop the bolts on both flanges. So we'll start off by lifting it up and doing it to the the back here. So we're going to lift this draft shaft up and sit it. Now we'll leave that, we'll tighten that at the end. Um, move on to the back again and I'll put the bolts in to the drive shaft. So line up the bolt holes to line up the bolt holes to the diff for the first couple in first. And then we need to, we'll tighten these and then we'll rotate it so we can get the last one on the on the top side. So at the moment it's in gear and it's the handbrake's up as well, just so up the wheel spinning. That'll make it a uh, make it easier to tighten these. So we need to get our 18 18 mil back. Nah, tighten these guys up. I 
Oh, it's nice and tight. Now I need to go inside, take the handbrake off and put it in neutral. So we can spin the drive shaft, so we can get the last bolt in. I'm going to spin it. That will reveal the last bolt hole. Now we're going to put it back in gear and then put the handbrake up. And so we can tighten up the last one. Okay, now we'll move to the front. Get the front ones up. So, the same deal here as the other ones. Um, we need to put it in, we need to take the handbrake off so we can spin the drive shaft so that these holes line up. And then we're going to put the bolts and nuts back in. So this front one here, I'm going to line it up with the marks that I've put on there. See that one lines up with that one. These three marks there line up. And I'm just going to push it in. And then I'm going to put these guys back in. So these ones, the bolts go in front. And get it in there. And then that goes on the back. And then do that with this other one that you can reach. Same thing. Nut goes on the drive shaft side. I mean, the bolt goes on the drive shaft side, and the nut goes on the transmission side. And then you get your your 18 mils, your spanner in your socket. Put the spanner on the back side, and the socket on the front side. And then you screw them up. and tight. Now I'm going to go put it in neutral and do the other side. Again, same thing. Rotate it so I can get to the last hole. And I'll put the last bolt and nut in. I need to tighten that, that center one now. Tighten that up. And then we can put the exhaust back on. Make sure that's nice and tight. Alrighty. Oh, that's done. We can put that heat shield back up. Make sure you can rotate it freely. And just know it run out, rotates freely, it doesn't shake, it's pretty solid. I'm not gonna make any more noises. So now we can put the heat shield back up.
get your 10 mil and do those little suckers up. Now move on to that transmission cross member. Need to pull that guy back up. Remember that jack supporting the transmission, so yeah. So we're gonna put this guy back on. Transmission pushing back into the holes. Put the nuts on first. We can buzz them down too. They are a 14 mil. bolts in as for all these two on each side these ones are the 18s Buzz them down real quick and then finish them off. Make sure they're tight. Now I'm going to move on to uh, reattaching the exhaust. So I'll just let this jack down. And I'll tighten these as well before I forget, actually. Make sure these are tight before I forget. And then move on to the exhaust. Alright guys, now that we're back in the middle, we're going to do the center one. It's got four bolts and they are eight, no, 15s. Now we'll move on to the back and uh, bolt the mufflers up and then this job will be done. We'll take it for a test drive and see if it's still vibrating. So 
so we'll move on to the back and do the rear mufflers. That fixed our issues with the vibrating. Um, all it was was the that um, draft shaft center bearing and that um, coupling on the end of the draft shaft, um, connecting the draft shaft with the differential. So yeah, um, this um, uh, this video will uh, apply to both the V6s and the V8s, both manual and auto. This one's a manual. Um, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. I'll be doing more work with this same vehicle. It's got a few things, a few issues that need to be fixed. Um, I only just bought it as a project. Uh, Trying to get it up and running again. So yeah, uh, thanks guys for watching again. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And um, keep. I'll keep the videos coming up for you. Thanks.